So I guess see that intro right there. So today we're going to take a look at a UCAB guide. Um, I kind of do want to help others if you actually manage to unlock the UCAB and so as well as the airburst. So yeah. Um, let's get started. So this clip right here is just to show you how, uh, what the UCAB was. or from a third person's perspective this may be a bad example but uh this clip right here uh, I I'll demonstrate this so as you can see right there this is recap is pretty good at taking out snipers and for this one right here always throw smoke so the way you nobody can actually snipe you or anything like that and I'll do a little replay if you didn't understand how the detonation works. So I did this little replay here. So what I did was, so I see this guy right here, and what you do is as soon as you hit the ground, detonate it. So that the way it that's what causes the air burst effect. And that's how you get the kill in that way. And if you and this would be going for the same as for other things I'll explain later on. So another thing I actually do with, uh, when it comes to using UCAB is you always spot enemies before you use them. I know this a lot of people do is they don't really spot so then they just use it they don't know where other targets are now with this one actually another viable tactic that i do use is i always use my mini map to see where enemies are as you can see right there now I, that may be a bad demonstration but um yeah uh <laughs> that's so this one right here now when it comes to vehicles um for tanks it does 20 damage now i think for other vehicles like boats or aircraft so as you can see for right here for boats and i may not deal as much damage but um the infantry that's on the boat i can actually kill and when it comes to using, uh, when it comes to aircraft, uh, for helis, I kind of do want to always throw a smoke <laughs> once again. Uh, always throw a smoke so the way that people really know where you are. But as you can see right there, as soon as you go directly, or when you hit directly to, at the heli, uh, you detonate it. And as you can see, uh, probably for this clip, for example, and you just follow the heli, and then when it's, well, as soon as you directly uh, hit him, you detonate it, and that's how you actually get the kill from there, or get yeah, his name. Now you don't always have to like, so like as for this one, for example. <laughs> Um, I'm following the heli, or the little bird, and as you can see, I can actually kill any infantry that's in the heli, and yeah. Now, I know this is a very weird thing when it comes to you cab wars, so I can give you a sure tip of, um, when it comes to UCAP Wars. So, <laughs> as you can see right there, um, he kind of gained the hanging ground. I'm surprised you didn't see. But, um, let me just, sh let me demonstrate. So, what I do is I wait for the person to use their UCAP. And then I, f uh, just follow the trails or where the trail's going. And as you can see right there, I found that dude. And with this clip right here, um, even though that you can't lock on to UCAVs, be careful because 
enemy jets or javelin users or anything like that they can lock on to the placement of your ecav or something now nah, good thing that I didn't <laughs> I didn't kill that dude unfortunately now I know you guys probably seen this clip a few times and you guys probably didn't understand but it is kind of fun to have like a squad or just have a few friends just um just using the UCAS because it can be a bit annoying onto the other team and <laughs> especially if you actually combo this with the SUAV or MAV it's gonna be very very annoying <laughs> to go against but yeah so I, this is just a little quick video of just a little quick UCAV guide it may not be the greatest, but um, this is just a short video. So you guys, guys, really like. And